really, I did the 30 card and that was a struggle for me to even get to 30. So this month I have a goal of a hundred and it's, you know what, it's, it's just getting easier and easier. So I'm enjoying it. Isn't that, you just said something powerful. The more you do it, the easier it gets because it becomes habit, becomes right. habit. So just keep up the good work. And uh, I, I know you, you'll check in with me and let me know well, you're off to a great start for week one because you just upgraded to the 97 recently. And so your week started last week. So just uh, keep me posted. I will absolutely do that. And everybody that gets them, that's why it makes it so exciting because they all call me or message me or Facebook me. And I mean, it just, I think there's very few that haven't responded back to me and they're like, oh my gosh, you just made my day. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. We, we have the ability to do that. We have the ability to make people's days. So, and Christina Hayes. She just joined Send Out Cards last night, about 9.30 last night. So welcome, Christina. And you and I had an opportunity to chat a little bit earlier today. So glad you're here. Thank you. And welcome, Anna. She's in a suburb of Toronto, Vaughn. Good to have you on, Anna. Hi, Anna. <laughs> Hi, Mickey. Hi, Chip. Nice to have you. Drag is on. I'm just waiting for a few more people. Um, so Chip, do you, you see where people are coming in? Um, yeah, I see if they have their video on. It says we have non, nine non-video people and we have about eight, seven video people. Okay, so, but do you see over in the chat when people come in, the participants, where you can admit them into the room? No. No? Okay. Well, I'll keep, I'll keep my eye on that and we're going to go ahead and get started uh, because I, I am super excited to just share with you today. Chip and I were talking yesterday about the amazing opportunity that Send Out Cards is, especially this last week when we've all been home, right? Are you all at home, staying home, yeah. staying healthy, staying happy? So um, being home for me meant sending cards and and I sent a card I've talked about this card so I'm going to go to speaker view for a second so I sent this card on the 20 20th of of March no okay no camera on computer um I sent this on the 20th of March and within so inside it just has and I did a video to show how I did that with another card that's in our system. But it just said, dear, dear Gail, dear first name, thinking of you during this time of self quarantine, what a year to remember our thoughts are with you. Text us when you get this card. What was the first word you found? Please stay safe and healthy. If you need someone to talk to, give us a call. And then there's the word search. And then of course, the branding on the back of the card. So in sending this, it started on Monday and I'm going to share my screen and I'm going to show you uh, the responses that have come in just as like when I was preparing for this call, I got a text message from Art and Pat. So, oh, hang on. Someone's, let me, let me invite someone who's trying to get in. I turned it off, Gail, so that people don't have to wait. Oh, okay. You could do that. Yeah. Awesome. I found it. Wow, that's what you, that's teamwork, you know, when you can, <laughs> when you can both work together and uh, create a fun atmosphere for sending or for doing webinars. So now that I'm getting back on track. Okay. Team teaching. Team teaching. So, so I'm just sitting here and I got a text message. So I want to just read this to you because this is, this is what it's about. This is what I want you to, understand is we are in a day in time in our history where it's connection it's being human this isn't about selling this isn't about sales and marketing it's about connecting on a human level so that we become memorable right you become memorable. 
Um, Maya Angelou, people will forget what you said, they'll forget what you did, but they'll never forget the way you made them feel. It's our opportunity right now to allow people to feel our humanness, our kind, our caring, our reaching out in kindness. So, um, so this, this me text message came in at 1257 today. Glad to hear from you via the word search card. Glad to know where you landed. I had texted you when I first saw your for sale sign in, on Center Street. That was our office. And so. You're muted. muted. <laughs> there we go. Um, so, so we had put our office up for sale and she noticed it. And this was back because I saw it after she sent this on August 30th last year. Hey, I saw your for sale sign on Center Street and I didn't respond. So that'll give you a little for her preparation for what, why she said what she did. I had texted you when I first saw your for sale sign on Center Street, but didn't hear back then. Hope you're staying healthy and, ha staying ha healthy and staying sheltered. We are fine in our great condo with our lovely view of Portage Creek nature. Every now and then we'd like to have a larger community than Vicksburg. However, it's a moot point at present. Our LA family is locked down and, uh, and out of work, but glad to be together and not in a hurry. P.S. I found heartfelt first. Take care. So here's my response. Let me first apologize for my lack of response last August. Thank you for noticing us. We didn't sell our, the office yet. Our son moved back from Rhode Island and is living there in the apartment. Good to hear you still love the condo and your surroundings. Nature brings peace, especially in quarantine. Thanks for taking a moment to text. We love hearing from you. Hello to Art. Is Vicki still with you? Vicki is their dog. And she responded. Good to hear back. Yes, Vicki is 14 plus years and moving slowly but steadily. Her vet says that her exercise has kept her in excellent health. Us too. Take care and hello to Steve. Thanks again for reaching out, Pat. And she liked it. Here's what I wanna point out with that text message. What did it do? It created conversation, right? It created a connection, the word search card. It had a call to action. Text me when you get this and let me know what your first word is. She did that, reminded me of my lack of communication last August. And so now have we reconnected? This is what Send Out Cards is all about. Send Out Cards is all about reconnecting us with the people that already know, like, and trust us. Who are you top of mind with? How can you get to top of mind with them? That's what this is all about. So Chip and I are gonna share some ideas. Uh, this was the word search. This card went out to 164 people. Eight of my grandchildren. I didn't send one to my grandson, Joel, because he's blind and he couldn't do the word search anyway. So I just wasn't leaving him out. Um, I sent it to 57 BNI members and I sent it to about 98 of our sphere of influence. And so I'm going to just share my screen and I'm going to show you what that response looked like with that card. Okay, I got to move, I got to move us. <laughs> So here's the word search card, 164. It was sent on April, March 20th. This was the first response, found the word joy. Thank you for the card, first word heartfelt. I get pictures, texting pictures to us. Cindy and Mackenzie got it done last night. U Unity was the first word. Thanks for the card. First word I found was calm and that's what I'm remaining in my new home. Glad I'm here, closer to family and friends. Here's more, heartfelt, thanks for the card. Would it make you laugh if I told you the first word was snot? She works in the healthcare field. Heartfelt, reflection, this one I love. My friend Mary sent it, love the card, thank you, self-care. And then two hours later, she texts me back with a picture of her completed word search, ta-da. Thanks for the card, first word, joy. Um, what a thoughtful thing, doesn't surprise me. Love the card, appreciation. You see what's happening. And when you see these, if you see the different colors, it's because I have my text color coded. So 
this was sent to both Steve and I. So Molly said, got your card. First words, joy, self-care, and heartfelt. And then she sent me a picture of Walter playing in his sandbox. My friend Brenda was making masks for uh, people. Her first word was um, send, and it wasn't even on the card. Self-care. Appreciation. Send. My granddaughter Lily sent me a text that said she found send. And she then she said, the word send is in kindness. And if you look, S-E-N-D in kindness spelled backwards. Um, another person, a friend of ours, saw snot. This, check this out. Now, I'm not going to, that was a text message sent to us from one of our clients. This was actually the, the people who bought our home. They're looking to downsize soon. And, and so this is what, kind of what it says close up. The first word was send, then kind. Neither one is on the list. Then I finally found the word hugs. So that's what I'm doing, sending kind hugs. So that was a connection. Uh, unity. And then this morning, Pat's. So I share that with you to show you that there is power in what, like if you make a call to action and you're truly coming from contribution, from kindness, from feeling um, towards, your, towards your clientele, it's making a difference. It really makes a difference. So I wanna, I wanna pause here and ask if there's anybody else on the call today that has had similar, hey, Aaron Wittenstein, I see you on here. Have you had similar responses from the cards that you're sending out? And have you done something other than the word search? So feel free to raise your hand or unmute yourself to, to just say hello for a minute. I hear ticking. I don't hear anybody. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Gail. It's Kim. Hi, Kim. I um, sent the cards, uh, so I'm not sure. I guess they'll be delivered early next week. So hopefully I'll start getting some feedback. Awesome. Delivered. How many cards did you send out? Oh, gee. I think it was like 180 or something like that. It was a lot. I just didn't want to overanalyze it. I just sent mm -hmm. it to everybody I could think of. Don't overanalyze this, you guys getting into action. So this is, this is a part of what I do every day. So having your, your, I mean, your okay. clients, your relationships organized in your send out card system allows you to take action much quicker and more effectively than if you're not paying attention to that. Right? So I have my BNI members are in a group. I have my top 100 in a group. I have, it's easy to find my grandchildren. When I have my family members. So Chip created this sunflower card. He had taken this picture, right, Chip? You took this picture? Yes, I took that picture like two summers ago. Um, I passed a field in the country of all, you know, thousands of sunflowers. I thought that would make a great card. Little did I know that, you know, it really would come um, be appropriate right now. Right, because... There's a saying, and I got this card from Chip. Chip, thank you. I love okay. getting your cards. The sunflowers follow the sun, but did you know that when it's cloudy and gray, they face each other and share their energy? Imagine if people would do that too. And then Chip wrote this, Gail and Steve, even though we can't visit in person right now, I wanted you to know that I am thinking of you and sending you positive energy. I look forward to when we can get together and laugh and enjoy sunnier days. So I want to show you what I did. So this is Chip's card. We all have the ability to share with send out cards, right? So I'm going to go over into my account and I'm going to show you that Chip shared the card with me along with some other, like we've got the neighborhood bingo and got a couple more word searches. But I'm going to open this up and I'm just going to share with you so just edit, edit card. And here's the inside. So I, I did a little border around my picture to the left, but 
March 2020. First name. We saw this image shared on Facebook and it inspired us to think of you, especially during these cloudy gray days of the coronavirus. Even though we can't visit in person right now, we wanted you to know that we are thinking of you and sending you positive energy. We look forward to when we can get together and laugh and enjoy sunnier days. All our best, Steve and Gail. And here's what we put on the back. So for those of you who are just maybe new to send out cards, you have the ability to create the custom branding for the back of your cards and save those so that you can choose whatever one you want on any given campaign. And that was the card that I was able to create and I sent it to my family members. So when I want to send it, go to send order, select, create. And I sent this to, um, when I go down here to add groups of people, I can view the groups as soon as they populate up here. And I sent it to the Swenson family and to the Zintech family. I clicked done. Look, it brought up 76 recipients. I click ready to send and it calculates out the cost for me based on, and we're gonna talk about the system package. See, I have the system package, so I don't pay for the cards. I've already pre-bought my cards. All I'm doing is paying for the postage, which is, $41.80 for 76 cards. And I was able to send that card to all those people with a click of a button. Does anybody have questions about how to utilize, how to create or how to send a campaign? I do. <laughs> um, what? I have a, so you have, you had their personal names. So the computer does that for you, puts the name in there of the individual person? Yeah, so when, when I did my card, it said, dear first name, and like the sunflower card, when it says dear first name, it pulls whatever names on the contact manager. Oh, so, that's cool. Yeah, so I can, I can go <laughs> in and, and show you how that works really quick. Um, I clicked on questions. Chip, are there any questions that we need to answer? Um, I've answered a couple. One of the questions okay. was, how do I share a card? You have to first make that card into a campaign, um, and then you can share it to the person's username. Um, another question was, the barcode in the back, what's that for? That's how send out cards matches the cards with the envelopes when they're um, producing them. And uh, Somebody asked, you know, can I get a copy of my Sunflower card? I'm happy to share it. Just text me your username. Um, it really does have to be a username. It, some people think it's, you know, the, the number. Uh, I've checked with send out cards several times and they said username. So if your number is your username, that's what we need. But um, if it's like mine is my first and last name. So, mm -hmm. um, and there's a difference whether or not your affiliate or not affiliate, you know, wait, so it's just easier username across the board. So Chip just shared this card with me yesterday or the day before. And so here's the inside. The inside is a blank. And so see how it says first name here? Mm -hmm. um, so if, if that wasn't there and I wanted to add the first name, I'm going to go down here, Kelly, see where it says oh. first name, last name, spouse name, first name and oh. spouse name. Okay. When you, when you do that, it just, and make sure when it's underlined, that means it's going to add the first name from your contact manager. So I, I haven't done any system sends or campaigns. I've only done heartfelt cards. So if I was to make my own card, how do I make that into a campaign that I can use all these features with? Okay. So when you're in campaigns, my campaigns, mm -hmm. there's a little okay. blue plus sign. Just name it. Um, test. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> test two. And you're gonna create the campaign and it's just kind of like going, you're adding the card. So now you're in your, your card okay. catalog. So you just make it, okay. So now you can just make it. 
How about these cute little I love those dogs. Dog cards. <laughs> I it's love been them. A, especially this one. It's been a while since I've seen you. I've sent this twice today so far. Um I like the me, holy shih tzu. <laughs> I my my friend my friend had a shih tzu that passed away and and uh, Wendy's in send out cards with us as well and I sent this. I wasn't sure if her if she had a shih tzu but it really it really made her day to have a little angel shih tzu. Um, and that just fit her, but all these new cards, you guys, they're, they're fabulous, um, and really worth taking a look at. So now if I, if I, ch I choose this card and I go to customize, choose the, the two panel. Now I'm going to add it to the campaign. So now I can, I can just save this. And next time I go back into my campaigns, it's there. I can go ahead and open it. I can edit it, which takes me right back into the card to be able to edit the card and add my message, add whatever back I want to add to the card itself, update it. And every time you update it, now it's saved as that version in your campaigns. Helpful? Yes. Hey, Gail, it's Diane. Hi, Diane. Hey, so when you add your message there, do you literally type first name, the words first name? No, 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 no. Don't do that yeah. or it'll, it'll be first name. So if I'm going to write in here and I'm going to start out, um, I'm going to go down here. Oops. Just scroll down on this sidebar. So you got your fonts and your colors. Click first name and that's going to add it to the card. Now I can, I can say dear first name, um, type my message and then that's, so that's what's going to pull from your contact manager. So let's go look at that for a second because this is probably one of the most asked questions in all of how do I put people into my relationship manager? And it's been my practice that if they are, um, I'm just gonna, I'll go look at our, our top 100, because those are normally couples. So see how I have Aaron and Elise in the first name field? Aaron and Jeff, Karen and Marty, Ron and Mary, Ken and Gail. So when I use the first name feature, so we'll go over here and we'll look at, Ron and Mary's. So here's here's the word search. Dear Ron and Mary. Here's the new the New Year's card that I that I created and sent to the top 100. Dear Ron and Mary. So does that make sense to you when you when you're working with couples? It's my practice. You don't have to do it, but here's the difference. If you if you if you're putting them in as first name and spouse's name and you send that on the envelope, it's just going to be the first name of the person. I want my envelopes to be addressed to Ron and Mary Anglin. I don't want it to be addressed to Ron Anglin and then inside it says Ron and Mary. I want them both to be there. So that's my practice. I've done it for 13 years. <laughs> my couples are in as couples and if I want to, put people in as individuals, I can also do that as well if I'm going to send birthday cards or things like that. I'm glad you mentioned that, Gail, because I've gone both ways. I had people as couples, but then I thought, okay, for Gail and Steve Zintek, I had birthdays April 4th, but there's no place to put Steve's birthday. And, you know, so somebody mentioned recently of doing three contacts, one for Gail, one for Steve, and one for Gail and Steve. And that way, Christmas time, when I want to send Christmas cards, um, it goes to Gail and Steve, birthday. So that makes the most sense. Um, the reminders or the note to say, you know, um, with the dated note, they used to remind you about those dated notes. It doesn't anymore. So, and I, I double check with that with, um, with uh, send out cards. Okay. And one thing I want to cover while we're on the subject of campaigns is sharing people always go well where do i find it so when you're on in your send out cards and you you go to your account 
and you see this notifications and the little pink circle, you can go in there. See, Chip just shared with me another one. I just click accept. And then where do you go, Gail? Because Okay. <laughs> so then I'm going to go to my campaigns. I'm going to go to my campaigns. I'm going to refresh. And I'm going to go back to my campaigns when it loads here. <laughs> and there it is, Toronto neighborhoods. So hopefully you understand that. I think that's a, a frustrating part for people. I like, I don't even know where to go to get this. So is anybody that's on the call right now would like the sunflower, the, the first two people that say, raise their hands and give us their username. Chip, you tell me, and I'm going to share this campaign. Okay. I'm not well, on video. I'm raising my hand. I'm not on video. <laughs> okay. What, what's your, speak up. What's your username? I think it's just Kelly Frick. So K E L L Y. Y F R I C K. Okay, now, while Kelly. we're talking about that, the usernames are extremely case sensitive. And sometimes when you type it into the messenger box, it automatically capitalizes the first letter. So be cognizant of that. Who else I wants it? Oh, if mine's capitalized or not. Kim Christman. I have one. For you. Oh, it's well, Kate Christman. Anna. Gail, sorry. Oh, see? <laughs> Kate Christman. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, oh. I have one Anna with a capital A. Okay. And then capital M, capital SOC. Capital M, capital SOC, like that? Uh, I can't see it. Uh, wait a second. Uh, let me go back. Anna with a capital A. Like that. Yes, yes. All right. There you go, Anna. All right. And everybody that's on this call and this recording, I mean, I, I, we, Chip and I have time right now to do this share, but imagine if a thousand people said, hey, can you share that with me? <laughs> we would be sharing, all we would be doing is sharing that. So, you know, because you're on the call today and if you have, um, if you have a, a desire to, any of those campaigns that you've seen, you know, Chip's got the, the awesome bingo cards that he created. This is a three panel card that has like three bingo boards and then the message go for a solitary walk with the kiddos and see how many things they can find winners can get an ice cream sundae or something or a special request or some special privilege use your imagination and have fun and That's chip cute. does an amazing job with branding with with his cards um branding if if you don't like what send out cards has to offer <laughs> Then go to Canva, just learn to be the basic use of Canva and create whatever you want. Take an image and put it on the back and you can write text over it. Um, it's a great way to be able to save. I see you, Mickey, MC Bullet. <laughs> and we'll make sure. Um, Judy's on, good to, good to see you on here, Judy. Judy from Hawaii. I love you, girlfriend. So love you too. Gail, I'm just going to interject. Some of them I've already shared the cards okay. to, and but after, as long as they send me, I told them they could text me, they could send me a Facebook Messenger, or put it in the chat, and I'll follow up and share after a record after the session is over. Perfect, awesome. Um, any other questions about the campaigns? I have another question. Sure. Um, so you somehow got the front of one card on the inside of the other card. How did you do that? Are you talking, the, about, are you talking the about- The word search. Oh, I have a video on YouTube. If okay. You, if you message me or you can, if you go to my, just search Gail Zintek on YouTube. Okay. I did a five minute video on how I did that. Okay. So you'll be able, I just, I added pictures of Steve and I into a card and then I took a screenshot of the front of the card that became the image that I put on the inside. Oh, okay. It was, okay. It, I think it look threw it people, it threw people for a loop. They're like, how did you do that? So there's a quick video. Okay, I'll look it that. up. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Anybody else with questions around the campaigns? 
Gail? Yes. Could you explain to to me how you schedule your campaigns out? Because that really throws me off some, a lot of times. I can create the campaign, but then I get thrown off about the time frames. I, I'm not sure how to set that up. Well, most of so most of my campaigns are set to immediately if they're single cards. So you'll see this one. Um, all of these are that are single touches are immediate. Uh, okay. let, me, let me find. I'll find a multiple touch campaign that will will kind of, kind of explain the. Um, the scheduling. Okay. Here, here's my seller campaign. So this is a, a five touch campaign that's built with three gifts. So the first one goes out immediate and it has a four pack of brownies. The second one goes out three months later with a $25 Amazon gift card. An anniversary card goes out on anniversary. You can see this here and I'll show you how I set that up. May, May 11th and November 11th. So if I edit this card, it's the three month card. See how it says send delay right here. And then you go to advanced options. Um, maybe I have to edit it. Hang on. No. Paper type send delay arrive. Oh, on a specific date. No, not specific date. Advanced options. There we go. When you click on advanced options, I can put three months after immediate. Okay. So when I put three months after immediate, then that that's that card. Um, no, I don't want to, I don't want to save it. Let me go back. Okay. Okay. Then anniversary, that one's a little bit easier because if we if we edit this one, then that's just on a specific date, arrive on anniversary. So you just have to make sure that you have the anniversary added to the contact. So for, for us, it's the home anniversary, the closing date is the anniversary. So that's going to go out a year after the closing. Okay. This one, May 11th. So this one, we just set on a specific date. So we just chose that that's the day on a specific date, May 11th. And it's the summer card. So it, when it goes out, um, just says, we're sending you thoughts for a summer story that make you smile. Let us know what fun things you have planned. If you're around Three Rivers, come take a cruise with us around Clear Lake. So, and then this one goes out November 11th. It's just dated for that day. Does that help, Judy? Hmm. Yeah, so, if, so for the ones that are like every three months and you do that advance, the system will automatically calculate when to send it out. So once I set it up, I don't have to worry about it. But right. the ones with the specific date, I have to go in and make sure that it's the specific date. Yeah, so, okay. yeah. So let's just say we close on a house on May 1st. They're gonna get this card right away. A couple days later, this card's gonna be scheduled to go out because it always goes out a week in advance. No, it goes out on May 11th. So it'll go out May 11th and they'll receive it on probably the 15th through the 17th. So those two might be close together, but it's going to go out next May for the anniversary and it's going to go out May, June, July, August will be the three month that this card will go out. And then this one, of course, on November 11th. So there might be times when a couple cards, depending on how you have it set up, will go out close together, but do people get mad if they receive two cards at the same time? I'm gonna think not. And how many days in advance does, does the system send those uh, scheduled cards? 
Because if you schedule it to go out on, to arrive on a, a specific time frame, I, I made a mistake when I said that we don't we don't we don't schedule it to ri arrive on a specific time frame. Now this anniversary card, uh -huh. this, the system knows, and I'll let's let me go to my let me go to my card history and I'll show you because I have a few campaigns that are just hanging out um, because they've already been scheduled. So. So this is a home anniversary card for a buyer. Angela Crocker will, this card is gonna be mailed on February 4th, 2021. That's her home anniversary card. You can see these other cards are sitting there. They're gonna be mailed out on the specific day. Um, okay, so that's because that's their anniversary date. So that the card right. will go out on that day. So let's go look okay. at, if I go look at Angela. <laughs> Whew. Joni, your doggies. <laughs> uh, so here's Angela. Angela's top 150. Her anniversary is January 17th, 2020. And the system will send it ahead of time, so it arrives close to the anniversary of the birthday date. Mm -hmm. so I think there's some confusion around that. Right, so if I, if I had her birthday in here, and, and well, I've got a lot of birthdays. Let's go up here and look. Relationships. So some people like to send birthdays, right? So if I want to look at who's got a birthday, March 15th through the 30th. I have 114 people that have birthdays during that time. I could, I could choose to select all. I could go to a campaign. I could type in birthday. I can send this. See, I have mine set for immediate because I don't like to send them all ahead. But if I had it set for the birthday, it would calculate seven. Is it is it one week or two weeks prior, Chip? Um, it's one week in the States and two weeks in Canada. Okay. So if their birthday is on the 15th, it's gonna the card's going to go out somewhere around the sixth or seventh of April to their home. So that it arrives close to their birthday. And if you're late sending it, um, so less <laughs> than the seven days or 14 days, it will send it next year. <laughs> so be yeah. careful of that. Yeah, you have to, you have to kind of watch that. That's kind of the, the more of the... Um, and do you send, um, do you recreate the cards every year so it's a different set of cards going out? I don't. Well, oh. when, you, when you think of real estate, I don't have the same customers every year. So I don't really have to change those out. Okay. I change it for my birthdays because um, I send those as a, um, as a campaign. So every year I have a new birthday card. Yeah. That's great. Okay. Thank you so much. You're welcome, Judy. Glad you're on learning, participating. I get a question again about, I'm sorry. Um, I'm just a little confused on the pricing for the system sends and the, cam and the campaign. So Perfect. you just had it pulled up. So mm -hmm. if you pay 400 per year, you get 300 cards, but just that's it, right? Nope, no, okay. you, get, you get 300, they're like 300 prepaid cards. Think of it as prepaid cards. And then if you look here, Kelly, for the full year, you get to send system cards for $1.31. A good example, Gail, I sent 500 New Year's cards. So, you know, the first 300 I had already paid for with my system package. After that, they just calculated $1.31 times whatever the remainder was. But I'm still enjoying the discount for the full 12 months. Because let's look at this for a second. If you're on the 17 a month, those mm -hmm. those system sends are two dollars and twenty five cents a piece unless you're doing twenty or more, but that's still two dollars for 
a group. So if you have a hundred cards going out at two dollars, that's that's well, three hundred and ten dollars if you add in postage, right? In the mm -hmm. states, it's more than that in Canada. And I've done the calculation, Gail, sorry to interrupt. Um, if you're on the $97 plan, the system send will save you 25%. If you're on the $37, you're gonna save 35%. And if you're on the $17, you're gonna save 41%. So that's, you know, I mean, if you went to the grocery store and you saw something that was 41% off, you'd probably buy three or four, right? Say, oh, I'm saving all this money. So keep that in mind. Yeah. I'm I'm glad there's smart people on here that you, do math. So you said that was an average. It says it's an average of a dollar thirty one per card. So how what what how could it be more or less? No, it's dollar thirty one. It's a dollar. So if you if you took three hundred ninety five dollars on your calculator, divide by three hundred. Oh, that's so what where you're getting that number. Three ninety five divided by three hundred is a dollar thirty one point six. Plus postage. Plus postage. When you okay. look when you when you look at the um, when you look at the system package, and you and you get it for twelve months. So this is something we're going to buy once a year mm -hmm. to have the ability to then send all of our system cards for a dollar thirty one plus the cost of the stamp. Is that why it says average? Because stamps cost different amounts. Where do where are you seeing average? It says we'll receive the average cost of a dollar thirty one for all paid oh. cards. Don't worry about average. Just just ignore that word. Oh, okay. <laughs> all right. Yeah, um, yeah. It'll be a dollar thirty one plus the cost of the stamp. And then if I don't buy the three hundred ninety five dollars per year, and I still want to do a system send, then I'm paying like if I'm on the thirty seven, I'm paying two dollars per card plus mm -hmm. postage. Right. Correct. And then if I'm on the 97, I'm paying $1.75. And right. there's no limit though, right? To no the number. Mm -mm. Okay. So you're saying, like you're saying, you said the percentage was like 40 something cents per card that you'd be 41, saving. Yeah, 41 on the 17, 35, yeah. and 25, depending on which gotcha. one. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. That, yeah. Okay. Now I understand. I guess what I didn't understand was the 20 plus because I, I didn't know about groups. Mm. I'm really new. Oh, well then I'm glad you're I'm glad you're on here because you're asking the questions that a lot of people that yeah. are new are gonna have that are gonna yeah. watch this replay and they're gonna be yeah, I have no go. idea what they're talking about. Right, 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 right. Yeah, because the twenty plus, I'm like twenty plus and is that the cards? I don't understand. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, now that makes sense now. Okay, cool. Awesome. All right. Okay. Um, I have one more question. So my subscription is 37 right now and it ends on the 4th, I mean the 7th of April. If I wanted to bump up to the 97 tomorrow, if I just call, would it just start tomorrow? And it would just, cause I've already used all my cards for the 37. They'll prorate it for you. Mm -hmm. So Sherry just, Sherry just did that. Sherry, can mm -hmm. you speak to that? I can hang on. I'll unmute you. Oh, there you okay. go. There you go. Yes, I just called. Gail just told me to give them a call, and I called customer service, and they took care of it immediately. And they just prorated the one or two days um, since my expiration. So, it so was boarders, really okay, yeah. But so, I should probably wait until the seventh then, because I don't want to pay ninety-seven, or I guess I wouldn't be paying ninety-seven. I would just be paying a little bit till the seventh, and then charge ninety-seven. Is that correct? Yeah, I they, they'll I don't know the math and how they do that okay but, that, but that, them. yeah and and they might say wait till the seventh or they might say here I think with Sherry what they did was they you know she paid the 37 and then she bumped up like two or three days later after she paid that and so they mm. only charge 62 dollars right I'm just right. so close to the end I don't I but I would like to do the more cards between well, now and the seventh and think about that think and they'll answer that question but Think about if you did, you know, 20 more cards between now and the seventh, that's, you're going to be saving $10 just in, po in postage. And right. I don't think you have to call. I think if you do it online, it will still prorate. Yeah, but if you want to know what it's going to prorate. Yeah, I want to know how they're <laughs> going to do it. Because, yeah, because yeah, I don't want to have to pay 97. Yeah, I just don't know. What, yeah, I'll call them. Okay. okay and if thank you, you if you need if i'll just shout it out it's the customer support number is 
Okay. Okay. I'll just call them tomorrow and see what I can do. Awesome. All right. All right. Thank you. You're welcome, Kelly. Thanks for all your great questions. Oh, I hope they're great. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Chip, anything that you'd like to share? Um, sure. Um, let me just share my screen for a sec. Well, I don't need to share the screen. I did, um, I, th there are various word search generators out there. So I found one last night and I created, I'm a realtor in Toronto. So I created a word search that were Toronto neighborhoods. Um, so it's something that young or old doesn't matter. Um, and I sent 150 cards to people in my database. Uh, again, just saying, you know, we're, we're cooped up and we're bored and just thought you might like to have a little diversion. So, um, you know, you can personalize them. Uh, and so that's a nice, nice thing to do as well. Um, you know, one of my bingo cards that I sent out, I got a text message from someone that said, um, you know, we love you and we love your card, you know, and it was a picture of them holding the card. So again, really, really um, heartfelt responses. I'm going to say that this is probably the one, right, Chip? That's the one. That's right. So on the front, I, I, I decided to switch it around a little bit. So I put the message that normally would be on the inside, on the front. There's no place like home. I think this falls under the category, be careful what you wish for. <laughs> Since we're all self-isolating, I thought you might need a diversion. What's the first word you found? Tag me on social media, text or call. I have a lot of older people that might not be on social media. Um, with my phone number. And then on the inside, um, I took a picture of, of, the, of the word search and I added it as a background image. Um, so that way it's on both sides of the card. I'm gonna, I'm gonna edit it so people can see. There you go. Now, the, and the, so if you select the edge of the card and go to background, that's where you can add the image. Now, the only thing that I found when I send it it thought that the panels were empty. So it said, gave me a warning saying, you have empty panels, you better be careful. Do you really want to do this? And I knew they weren't empty, it was just a picture. So I said it was okay. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, that's the card that I did last night. And awesome. it took me, you know, 10, 15 minutes to put the card together and it sent out 150 cards. Hey Chip, did you just Google word for um, I can put the address, um, somebody had sent me, the address for this uh, crossword puzzle, I'll, I'll put it in the chat. Um, Thank you, that's awesome. Have to look it up. I, I created one a couple years ago um, for home buyers and home sellers. And so it, um, I think it was mywordsearch.com. You, you can check and see if that will take you to it. But it was, honestly, I think I paid $12 a year to make really unlimited word searches. and. You know, it's one of those things. It was one of those shiny objects. I used it for a minute, but now it might, we're kind of bringing that whole idea back for cards. So you can check it out. You might be able to do your first couple for free. All righty. Well, I, hopefully this has been helpful for all of you to kind of understand Very a little... Much. A little bit more about campaigns with send out cards, the ability to reach many people in a short amount of time for, uh, you know, time is money to all of us and we all have a limited resource of time. So when you can send 150 cards and with the click of a button, it really makes a big difference. So keep sending your cards, keep loving on people, Keep showing up for them on social media, engage with them, let them know that you see them and you care about them and keep sending cards. Hey, and it's National Doctor's Day. You pick up these things on social media. So when I saw that post, I immediately saved the picture and I went and sent a card to my, to our doctor, Dr. Osterhout. Well, he'll be getting his card in the mail this week with, with the butterfly. Now, the butterfly is a gift in gifting that is, it's spring loaded. It's kind of fun when you, when they open up the card, it flies out at you. So um, don't send it to any, any senior citizens that might have a weak heart because honestly, it kind of freaks you out a little bit when you first do it. Um, I, I just sent the butterfly today, Kim. So we'll see. Uh, it's, it's just, it's in the, 
if you're on the 97, you get premium shipping on that one too. So, you know, pick some people this week and just send your heartfelt cards and send some gifts out, brighten their days. We got another week of, of isolation and quarantine. So um, let's reach out. Chip. I put the word search uh, URL in the chat for everyone to uh, copy and, and use it. It's free, so we may as well. Everyone loves free. Love it. <laughs> All right. Thanks for being here with us today for our 45 minutes of helpful hints in, in sending campaigns. And if you don't have the system package, budget it in. Make sure you get that so you can over time save money on sending those cards out okay awesome. thank you all right thank you so much both of you you're very welcome we'll talk soon message us if you need anything thank you very much bye-bye <laughs>